we're going to take a look at simpler in slice mode now. So I'm on this glitch filtered kit track here and we can see simpler displayed for us below. So I'm opening up this up one more time and you can see that we still have full access to the control panel. So sound design options are still there for us in this mode as well. Um, so this is a very uh, cool breakbeat that I found and I knew I wanted to mess with it and play with it. So when you have things in slice mode, there's a number of ways that you can slice and dice them. So by default, we have things set to transient. And again, transient is just this place where a sound is definitively beginning. And depending on the file, that may or not actually be the case. So you can see that some of these aren't fully sliced. I've got some transients that are um, blue, which is indicating to me this is where the slice currently is. Just playing these back. And I can increase the sensitivity, which would create more slices, or I can decrease the sensitivity, which would result in less and longer slices. So I have this set to 80%, which is giving me a decent amount of slices, but not too many. I can also just delete things. I can move them by hand if I choose, and this is true of any of these modes as well. If I wanted to slice it by beat, it's then going to look at the grid and say beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, so on and so forth, depending on the division that I set. So this was set to a quarter note, so it's now sliced into a quarter note, but you can see this isn't quite perfect um, because of the file itself, whether or not it was warped or not. I can go through region. I can just say, split this up into eight pieces, two pieces, 14 pieces, 17 pieces. And it's actually quite fun if you have a sequence that you are playing back, which I do here. I'm going to, this is just a uh, MIDI sequence. Open this back up. So what I'm gonna do is just mess with the number of regions as this is playing and you'll, you'll hear this sample kind of change and modulate as I'm adjusting these parameters. I can also decide to slice it manually. I can say, you slice here, you slice there, slice, slice. I can move things around very easily just by grabbing the slice marker and moving it wherever I want to. So there's a lot of ways to literally slice and dice this depending on what it is you wanna do. I'm gonna go back to transient setting on my 80% sensitivity. I have a few options of how this sample is gonna play back. So at a mono setting, I'm only able to play one slice at a time. So even though I'm currently pushing two, one is playing back. If I choose poly, I will then have the option of playing two at the same time. So depending on what the sample is, you, you might want that overlap. In, in this case, this is um, a, a drum beat, so I want things to be clearly delineated and I do not want that to happen. Through is going to play the sample from wherever it's beginning all the way through to the end. And it's also gonna be dependent on this trigger or gate setting. So if I have trigger selected, when I play the sample, it's just gonna trigger it and play all the way till the end here. If I have gate on, it's only going to play it while I have my finger down on the pad. And this is true of all the playback options. So if I go to mono here, I'm then only gonna be able to play this last uh, sample one at a time here. And so if I play it very quickly, I'm only getting a little bit. If I hold this down, we're getting the whole sample and it's actually listening to where my finger is as I'm pressing down a MIDI note here. Or I could just trigger it and always play the full sample. 
You again can warp these things, you can stretch them. There's a lot you can do. There's a whole panel here of filtration LFO and envelope manipulation that you can create. I have a beat repeat that I put on as well. So if we just play this back. Put some delay. So with Simpler, it's very powerful. It's saying, here's a piece of audio, you play with it, you do something, you create something out of it. It's very quick and easy to get creative with, and it's a great way to create custom instruments. It's much different than pulling in a preset that maybe sounds like something somebody else has already made. You can create something that's highly customizable and, and really reactive and fun to play with. Music